In this DaVinci Resolve 19 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video overlay effect, or as I like to call it, the video in video style. This is perfect for tutorials, presentations, or just showing off cool stuff like, uh, hey there, What's sorry this? to interrupt, big Christian. Oh, but I just wanted to demo this feature. It's great for switching between scenes like, check this out. This is Trieste, a beautiful city by the sea in Italy. Just a quick preview, I've got a lot more to show from this trip. Let me know in the comments if you like a full video about it. All right, I think this was an awesome trip. I think you get the idea, but now let's dive into DaVinci Resolve 19 and I will show you how to create this effect step by step. Spoiler alert, it's super easy, but you will need to record two separate videos to make it work. And if you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Oh yes, this would be great. All right, as you can see, we're already in the DaVinci Resolve Studio version 19, and uh, this works in the free version as well, so no worries at all. I already imported the files I need to my media pool, as you can see here in this area and I've chosen the correct video for my intro as well and I already dragged and dropped it down to the timeline here. First of all, I have the main video here. So this is the intro section. In this DaVinci Resolve 19 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video overlay effect. This is the main video. I have now another one, so the overlay, where you can see the effect where I knock on the glass and then I take over in the little picture down there. This is here. So this picture has the same size as the other one. So first of all, let's move this to the correct position. I think this is where I stop to talk here. Oh, of cool stuff like, uh, what's this? Okay, here I hear the knocking sound. So I will move this whole part here. Let me check this out. Or just showing off cool stuff like, uh, what's this? Hey there, oh. sorry. Okay, a bit later. Okay, approximately here. I think this will work. Okay, now you can see it switches from the of main cool stuff video. like, uh, what's this? Hey the there, sorry. One. What we want now is to resize this video. We want to make it smaller and put it down in the corner. For that, I select this video and we go up to the inspector here in this section here, in the upper right section. When you cannot see this area, you go to inspector here, click it, then it will open a new window. You have video, audio and other options, but we only need video for this. For this, we need the transform section. So. The video is zoomed in 100%, means 1.0. For that, we have to reduce the size of this video. So let's do this. So just press the left mouse button and move your mouse to the left side. As you can see, it gets smaller and smaller. I think the size is pretty good, but I think you can see too much of my surrounding here. It's too big. So let's reduce the size also a bit. So we go to the second point to cropping. And then we crop left here. Let's crop a bit. So let's go for, I don't know, 400. And also on the right side, we go for 400. That's awesome. So I think this box looks quite great. And now we have to move it to the corner here on this side. So we go to the transform section again and we go to position. We move the X axis to the right side and stop it where we want to have it. I think this is a good place, but we also have to move it down. So we go to the uh, Y side and move it way down and I drag and drop it to the left side. Okay, I think this should work. Great, then let's have a look how it looks like. Stuff like... Uh, What's this? Hey there, sorry to interrupt, oh. Christian. But I just wanted to demo this feature. It's great for switching between scenes like, check this out. Okay, and like check this out, this will be the next scene. So I need the videos from Trieste here. And I've already prepared some on that side. 
so I zoom out a bit and move them here to this position. As you can see, the clips are also in full size mode. Means we have to bring it on the same size like we did with the smaller second Christian here. So I will select the file. I will copy and paste just the values for the zoom here. I copy paste with Ctrl C and Ctrl V, the position, the X axis, and the last one here with the Y axis. So, so we should see that it the size has been reduced, but the dimensions are not the correct one. So I go back down here and I do the same with the left and the right crop. So I know this is 400, so I can do it here manually. 400 and 400 and we're good to go. This means when you check this scene again, check this out. This is Trieste, a beautiful city by the sea in Italy. Just a quick preview, I've got a lot more to show from this trip. Let me know in the comments if you like a full video about it. Alright, I think this was an awesome... Okay, and I will cut this to this end, where I switch from my small Christian here scene to the big one again. In the comments if you like a full video. Alright, I think this was an awesome trip. I think you get the idea. But now let's dive into the Vinci Resolve 19. Okay, and I would the last part here before the intro starts here, so my intro sequence starts here, is this switch and I've already prepared it. So I'm also using this here, I think. Let me check this out. Make it work. And if you enjoy what you see, please videos to make it work. And if you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, oh yes, this will okay. be great. Then I will reduce this here. So this will be then the cut so from much. here to here. Uh, oh yes, this would be great. Okay, and then my <laughs> CE intro would start here, but I will close this tutorial here. So I will quickly take over also these values. All right, and 400, 400. We have this also here in place. And finally, you can see separate videos to make it work. And if you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, oh yes, this would be great. All right, and I think that's it. All right, that wraps up our today's tutorial. Oh, looks like big Christians ready to take over again. Take it away. Thanks, little Christian, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I reply to every single one personally. If you found this DaVinci Resolve 19 tutorial helpful, a thumbs up would mean the world to me and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. And uh, before you go, why not check out one of my other videos here? You might discover something new. Stay healthy, take care and I will see you in the next one.